Welcome guys, tonight we have a special edition of the Sportswork Magic show where we're gonna be featuring the Commonwealth of Dominica, Nathan Insurance Posse Basketball League semifinals that is scheduled for the 7th of April. You have the national under 21 team versus Pebush Super Eagles in game one. And then you have 767 SC All Stars versus One Pot Originals in the second game. One goes off at seven, one goes off at nine. Tonight we have joining us from Dominica. We have the legendary Coach Maggie. We have Mr. Modest and we have Erickson Leblanc. Erickson Leblanc, who is the league PRO uh, in Posse. And we have Josiah Modest, who is the manager for 767. SC All Stars. Later on in the show, we're expecting the um, representation from the other team to join us. But as is right now, we're going to go right into it. Let's go. Let's have a ball. Mr. Libla, Maggie, Mr. Modest, welcome to the Sportswork Magic Show. Good evening to all, and thank you for having me on your show, Mr. Nichols. Um, it's a privilege, privilege to be here representing the Nantan um, 2020 2021 Basketball League. Yeah, um, thanks for the opportunity, uh, Mr. Nichols. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, don't stand Peter's here. Come on. <laughs> You're still the president of the association, right, Maggie? Yes, I am. Okay. Big boy in the house. All yes, right. Modest. Yeah, special. Um, good evening to everybody listening here via Facebook. Um, it's a wonderful privilege to be here on this show to talk basketball. Thanks again. Yes, guys. So <clears throat> tonight we're just going to go through a little thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow each of you, well, from what I just said, but I'm going to let each of you give uh, a little more in-depth um, information on your background where basketball is concerned. So we're just going to go right down the line and do your thing. We're going to start off with Maggie. Okay. Yeah, well, um, as, I, as you rightly mentioned, I'm the president of uh, the Dominica Amateur Basketball Association. Um, also, you know, uh, affiliated with the 767 SC All Stars, you know. But right now, yeah, it's all about you know basketball, and it's good to see the basketball in the north, you know, in the absence of the national league. Uh, the players are, you know, it's good. It's good to see that excitement down in Portsmouth in that league, and um, you know. Uh, right now, we're in the, in the midst of it in the final four, and it's really exciting. And we, we love we love the opportunity to share that with the rest of the world. Like you say, the privilege we have the privilege in Dominica to be able to play because um, you know the COVID pandemic has kind of you know simmered down not to not to hot in our area, so we get the, the opportunity to play, and uh, we have you know, we, we we're making the best of the opportunity. Good stuff. Modest. Okay, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> All right, so as everybody knows, my name is Josiah Modest. Um, a member of, um, I started playing basketball at a young age. I was a member of the Spartans Basketball Club. I am now, I serve on the executive as a DB member. Um, besides managing the All-Star team, um, I also help out in managing the U21 team also. So my plate is full. Yeah, so well, like Maggie said, it's a, it's a, we are very fortunate to have basketball being played in Dominica right now because we have not COVID free, but we can say we can, the land, the <clears throat> land of no COVID, you know, the blessed <clears throat> land. We are very blessed, you know, in Dominica. So once again, it's good to see basketball being played in Portsmouth. 
Um, hands out to Mr. Earl Matthew for bringing basketball alive in post mortem. Yeah, we just want to see it go forward. All right, so I guess it's my turn. Um, yep. As, as was initially mentioned, my name is Eric Sandlibler. And um, not much people know me as, as, as being a basketballer, but way back in the 80s, I did play some basketball, uh, represented Portsmouth long ago. Um, I've since moved on, I've been into football, and actually I'm the vice president of the Dominica Volleyball Association. Um, my My coming into this is because of the relationship that I have with Earl Matthew and after Hurricane Maria he and I came together to do some rebuilding and restructuring of our facilities on the hard court in Portsmouth and um, because of the fact that we work so well together he came to me and said Erickson I want you on my committee and um, I'm a no-nonsense guy you know what I mean and a lot of people kind of look up to me as a mentor and as a natural leader um, and then I know Earl has been so busy with doing certain things. I decided that he was doing too much in terms of having to organize the league, get in contact with teams. So I told him I would take on the role of, of pushing, pushing the league out there as a public relation, basically the face of the media, having to interact with the media, put stuff on our Facebook page. And um, I kind of just became his right-hand man in running the league. And in the last few weeks, I've even had to help with officiating because sometimes we had like officials could not come to games and I, I basically take on that that other mantle also uh, so that's that's it for me in a nutshell oh great and we have Earl Matthew joining us good night Mr. Matthew good night how are you guys doing <laughs> we are pretty good I, well I'm Earl Matthew um, I started playing basketball at an early age I national team and the youth team. I got a scholarship to attend the University of um, um, Louisiana a few years ago. And um, since I've been back, I've been coaching. I've coached the national youth team a couple of times, um, over three years. I did a stint as, as a, a teacher at the former secondary school where I taught, um, where I taught, well, I coached basketball also. And I've been, for the past few years, I've been um, the president of the Portsmouth Basketball Committee. And um, for me, it's like a, a way of giving back because basketball has got, uh, I've done a lot for me in terms of my education. And I mean, I travel a lot. So I'm just trying to give back to the, my community and you know, at least keep the, the, the hope of basketball alive. And during this pandemic, I think it's, it's very rough on us, but at least we're trying to do something, you know, to keep the community together. So we try our best, you know, to, and I, we have um, I have a good assistance of a few people, and like I think that we too are doing a good job, and like just to bring sports back back alive in the, in Portsmouth especially. Good stuff, good stuff. Because if we don't have that kind of building, everything will eventually just vanish. Anyway, we're not gonna stay too long. We're gonna head straight into business. We have Jerry Aino. I think Jerry just joined us. Jerry? Jerry Williams? Somebody sleeping, man. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry seems to be asleep. Good night, good night, good night. Oh, okay. Good night, Mr. Williams. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for making it on the Sports Work Magic Show. Yes, yes, yes. It's a pleasure. Yeah, so what we want you to do is just give us a, a brief synopsis, introduction of yourself, what you do, who you are. All right, my, name is, along. my name is Jerry, in Antigua, they will call me Jerry Energy Williams. Um, I spent most of my life in Antigua, um, was a part of the basketball association there. Played football, played basketball. Um, so I'm a, a sports enthusiast. I am also former president of Hoppers Football Club. Um, Hoppers? Now, yes, yes, yes. So I am now stationed. You see, you, 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 you know of that name. I'm now stationed in Dominica in the hotel business. Um, and I'm 
um, general secretary of the Basketball Association, and also the director of the NEP, the National Elite Training Program. So that's a brief history. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. So, Mr. President, um, Maggie, just give us a, a, a rundown on the Dominica Amateur Basketball Association. Yeah, well, um, we have we are pretty active right now. We know a lot of we have a lot of um, things happening. Just it, the, the the pandemic hit, and that gave us the opportunity to you know just plan and prepare for when we get that opportunity to play again. So, in 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 the in the absence of the league and all that, we have been laying the foundation for basketball in Dominica. Uh, we have been, or you could say, reform, you know, putting things in place, you know, in terms of the structure and, um, you know, the, 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 the youth, especially in the youth, you know, um, the officials, everything, just putting things in place to, to, to bring back, bring up the quality of the basketball again to what it used to be. And uh, we, we have a nice team, we have an executive, uh, Mr. Jerry William is a general, general, he's a general secretary, but I call him the general. You know what I mean? With his wealth of experience. And we have Modest, you know, who's um, very enthusiastic and, you know, a lot of passion and, and heart for the sport. Uh, we have uh, also um, our Barry Kazimi, that's on the executive. We have, that's our treasurer, and, you know, uh, Dwight. We have um, also, we have a new member, Kendra, and um, also we have, who am I, who am I forgetting? Um, was there, uh, Peter, Peter Ricketts. Peter Ricketts, yes, the vice president, <laughs> the man, the man for the free expiry. So oh, we have a... How, a, you, a very, how, you could, how you could forget the vice yeah. president? <laughs> <laughs> the vice president, yeah. Yeah, man, so we have a solid team and we're doing some real good work and we have a lot of, you know, you know people on around us and a um, man like Earl Matthew, and then, you know, keeping it, you know, down in Portsmouth, they really appreciate that, you know, in the absence of, like I said, in the absence of the National League, that the players get the opportunity to play and, and maintain their, their, their levels, while we do that restructuring and re reforming, so that when things come in place, we'll be, we know we can jam and everything will be nice. Oh, um, league organizer, Posse. For those who don't know what POS is, or listeners or viewers for who don't know what POS means, POS is short or yeah, they short for pot smoke. How is basketball doing down there? Uh, should I let Earl take that, or, or, or Earl? Do you yeah, want that's Earl. Answer? Earl. Well, your mic is muted. Com compared to, to the um, past few years, um, kind of disappointed in terms of um, the number of the local teams we have participating. Because I can remember about before Maria, we had like almost four or five teams from the Puff of area. To the extent Pebush is like like Portsmouth. So in other room we had about like six team local teams. But right now I see we have only two teams from Portsmouth taking part. On that note, I'm kind of disappointed because I think that um, we should have put more effort into developing the teams around us. But on the next note, I see that we are expanding to the, the um to the odd district. And I think that the number is increasing, but on the other hand, the local teams are decreasing. So that's something that I think we have to work on in the next um, coming years, because it's a basically generally it's a, a personal league. So we expect to have like more than one teams or more than two teams taking part in the league. But just that I find that we kind of sit back and we have only two teams, but. I think as time goes by, that's, that's what we have to work on to get the number of local teams number rising. But the pandemic has taken a toll on the league also in that 
the amount of people we have coming to the league might decrease because you know of the social distancing and so but as time goes by we get this vaccine and we you know, we're not taking that lightly but we still have to take our protocol but as time goes by we're coming back to the to the standards that we, we used had before yeah it's as a as a party league i expected more more teams from party itself um participating in the tournament like you say local home but it's a good it's a good sign that it's showing expansion going yeah, out yeah. to the to the outskirts and also and also um like we we see before i think i can remember you we had about five divisions you know we had a, a on the on the on the how, how long is that tournament how old is that tournament i mean well huh. that tournament supposed to be about about maximum about irregular season about nine weeks but we had a, a, a we had a period where we had to stop play because one of our players were tested positive. So we had some um, you know, so we had we had a, a long break. No, I think you misunderstood my question. Um, um when I say how when I say how old, I meant um how many years back this tournament been running? Oh maybe I'll, I can remember now, but I've been the president for like maybe what, 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 10 years. Okay. I think so it's, so, so it's, uh, it's, it's been around for a while. Yeah, man. Yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. yes. I mean, if you, if you took a look at it, that have, have been like before, before, because I played as a player in the league before. In that same tournament? Well, yeah, because um, that league maybe started maybe in the, early, in the 90s. And maybe in the 90s, because I, before, I, I left for the US in 96. And I played in Yemen yeah, about early, early 90s. The Postmodel League has been running, yes. With, but back then, the Postmodel Postmo League actually started in 1993 when we had the first Postmodel Basketball League in 1993. I played in those. I played in that early league, and and, and Earl wasn't even a, a really big player yet. So it, we started in either the year 92, but I know for a fact in 93 we we've had the Postmodel League running. Good stuff. That's good stuff. But um, but and like I like I said, we 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 had we still have like a year. We had about five divisions, on the fifteen, on the seventeen, um, on the nineteen, and the the the, the, the premier team. And most of the most of these teams were from Portsmouth. Well, if it's one thing, if you need, if you want to grow a, a, a discipline, a sporting discipline, you definitely have to focus on your under 15s. True, true, yeah. And we, we have, we have a, 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 guy, a guy called um, Washway Churchill, and you know, Peter Douglas. And that, that, that is where he's getting at now. He has, um, he has some, some good t- um, team like under 10, under 15. He coaches the, um, the PSS girls and the boys team. And one thing we do, we 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 um, include this school's team in the league as part of their training. Right, so right. Most time you will find completely park like a seven o'clock game. You will find the girls playing against the boys. You know, mm-hmm. and like it's still a chance to like to get them practice and get right. them play together. So the development starts there. You know. Yeah, so Mr. LeBlanc, how, how has it been promoting that that event? Um it's tell been, us, it's, it's, tell it's, us about it's, the event. It's been hard. It's 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 kind of been hard um promoting the, the event or or should I say lack of promotion because when we when the COVID when the pandemic really became full full blown and um a lot of a lot of restrictions were put in place. I mean, basically the authorities said that you could not gather with more than more than more than twenty people or more than hundred people at any one venue. And 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 for everybody here, no, you know, uh, we play sport in an open in an open venue. We don't have a closed venue where you can manage your patrons. So we have a park and there's I mean twenty doors. 
20, 30 doors to even get into the place and open venue. Um, one of the things that the authorities told us when after a lot of negotiations and discussions, one of the things the guy, the guy told me was, Erickson, you guys can have your games, but don't promote it. Don't let people know. Ah. You know what I mean? So, so, so technically it's called you want to have it like behind closed doors. Yes, yes. Something to so, that effect. So it was like it was like the league is in Portsmouth, but only Portsmouth people would know or that is should come to the games. So so the promotions, we could not really go on the radio, we could not go on, on the stuff and tell people come down to the games. So what, what we started, what I started doing was just sending sending the little reports to one guy on the radio station and putting stuff on our Facebook page so people would see the results of the games, put one or two pictures. And even with doing that, even putting pictures, we have to be so careful because I could not take a photo and let the world see that there were <laughs> more than a certain okay. amount of people in the stands. <laughs> because you, 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 I mean, human nature, you know some people is going to come there and, and, and disrespect your protocols. So, so it was very difficult. And some people did ask me why we were not putting more pictures on the Facebook pages. And that was the reason, because it was very difficult to take a photograph of people playing basketball and not get the background images of people in the stands. And one person may not have a mask, two people may be talking in each, in each other's face. And that alone would have, could have caused the authorities to shut down the league. Or, or the games. Fortunately, that did not happen. And we have been blessed and privileged that I think there's a very good team. And right now we've basically linked up with people like Maggie and Modest and Jerry. And um, they've also pushed, pushed the league on the DABA, which is the parent body, on the parent body page. So, so when the team like the National Under-21 teams or the 767 All-Star teams travel from principally Roseau, they bring their own crowd. So that has helped us. That has helped us to bring the crowd to the games. So even if we don't push it out in a wider public, the public still comes to us and we've still been able to manage, manage our crowd and manage the expectations of the games. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, <clears throat> so you all would be considering going um, virtual, live streaming the games and that, that kind of stuff? Well, well, that would be good, but um, there is cost involved uh, <laughs> because it's one thing. It's one thing to come and, and 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 do a live stream with your phone. It's the next thing to come with two, three cameras, and you need to have an internet package. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so this is something that I would I will have to discuss with Earl because, as you see, we are we in the semifinals now, and would would it, it would be very good for us to do the finals? Maybe the live finals, stream the finals. Be... You know what I mean? So this is something yeah. I, will, I will have a discussion with Earl about and see how we can go about doing that. And that probably would encourage persons to stay home and watch it instead of coming to the park. I mean, try to understand the situation and let's not leave each other, let's not create problems for each other. Well, yes, that's true. But as, as um, two of the previous Morris and, and, and Maggie said, um, Dominica has been blessed in a sense in managing the, 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 the COVID. And um, we had this one scare a few months ago and um, it was really scary when we had one guy tested tested positive for for the virus and that would have been a really really devastating blow to not only us as basketballers but 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 to the island mm -hmm. because with that one guy play, playing for a team that would have affected almost 100 persons fortunately we've not had any major problem at any of our games in terms of protocols when it comes to the COVID. We, 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 we normally have a PA system where we announce stuff. And um, even though the COVID pandemic is on, we have still seen large numbers of people come to the park. So, so even though Let we tell, tell people, something. even though we tell people, hey, we're going to do virtual stream that and stay at your home, nah, people are still going to come to the park and watch their games. <laughs> Especially you know, with the teams that are in the finals now. You know, you know, in Antigua, we had our Super 50, uh, Super 40 cricket, domestic cricket was playing, right? And then it went into a village. The village had, team was in the finals. And it went to that village to have the finals. And after, the, after that, when the two-day competition was about to start, they shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, 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 I don't I don't think I don't think they're going to shut us down at this point in time because as I said, we've been very proactive and in terms of management of this. And um, I think by and large, all the people who come who come to to watch the games have been very um, they've been very good in, in listening to us and adhering to the protocols. So I, I think we're good for now. I think that would work in your in in your best interest if everybody try help each other and obey the rules and make it work for everybody. Most definitely. So Maggie. So how 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 things working out with um with the support of the association where where the where the extended tournaments are concerned like posse like the posse tournament um you you well, are you know, hand in hand and all that kind of stuff yeah we of course yeah because we are like i said we're very it's very is 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 um it's great that you know we wish that the other other um communities could um do like what post will be doing because that what we'll do is that what it what it does it um it, it basketball across the island you know why whilst we are preparing and you know putting things in place it develop it gets the the basketball and the other out districts to, to to um you know bring up the quality and it gets the players to stay fit so when they come to the national league we get we get that good quality and you because, get and you get um, it you know, decentralized yes yes definitely and so we are very you know happy that that's happening and we are we are hoping that other communities you know in the south in the east could um you know pick up on this and you know so it will it, it will kind of you know will help us in, in, in increasing the, the quality of the game and keeping everybody fit and ready for when when all the doors open that we can come out and make some noise in the in the region and see what we can do some give Antigua some some problems. <laughs> I am anticipating in the very near future we will we will be touring Dominica like in different disciplines and frequently too. Uh, that's the way yeah we will. We're looking forward to, but let me tell you Trust something. Trust me, I wait for that. <laughs> well, I see a, I see a flyer went out that said Liat is back in the air. So you don't know what might happen. Anyways, we have the real event that's going to take place tomorrow night, seven o'clock game time, first game, national under 19 team versus Paybush Super Eagles. The manager for the under-19 team is before us. That's, that's modest, right? Under-21. Under-21, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's, that's, that's modest. Yes. How it, how it feels going into that um, semis tomorrow? <laughs> um, trust me, I'm excited because... Um, as like Maggie said in the beginning, I actually have two teams going into the semifinal. The under 21 team and the 76 All-Star team. Two teams going into the semifinals. And so, so, stick, so stick up in right there. <laughs> under 21. Yes. Is in game one. In game one. And 767 SC is in game two. It's in game two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. <laughs> God forbid both of them win their game. What's gonna happen to you? Um, we, we fire the manager. <laughs> or the manager can fire. Well, I think the director has that in place already to fire me for the for the best of five games and hire okay. me back <laughs> after. Okay. But, yeah, but it will be a it will be a great pleasure. I mean, it's going to be a great pleasure to see um the seven six ballers and the U twenty one team go at it for the finals because. I think, honestly, really speaking, that's going to be a good matchup. And it's going to be a battle between me and Maggie and Jerry. You know, a fun battle. A fun battle. That's what we want to see in the post league. But look, look how life funny, right? So, Modest, you're representing two teams here, right? 
right. under 21 and 767. And then we haven't seen Dave. And Donnie is not with us. So <laughs> you have you have no rebuttals tonight. So you you can you can leave here later not feeling threatened in any way whatsoever. I am not. These well, guys' bones are broken. Kind of a, kind of a cool Bobby's way to here. live here. What? Job is there. But Nico, I'm not tripping you. Earl, Earl. Earl is part of the Earl. one port. Actually, Earl is the actual developer of the one port originals senior team. He just chose ah. to step Wee. back a bit because of his role <laughs> in the league. But okay. the one port original is actually his team. <laughs> oh, so... Okay, um, Modest, so you feel you feel confident with your both teams going in, going in and winning um, their game? Let me just give me a, Okay, let me just let's deal with under 21 first. Under 21. Like Jerry said it earlier on, um, we have a program with the under 21. And this program has been going on for six months. Um, we have seen guys develop from stages of one to five, stages from five to ten. And I believe every weekend we come together as a national team. We have training, we do group sessions, we do online training. So it's not just about coming and just say, you know what, we play in this weekend. So we come to play ball. So that is why I'm so confident that the under 21 team can and they will go for the finals because they train together. They sleep together, they eat together, they share messages with each other. The other teams don't do that. Technically speaking, the under-21 team is the most prepared team right. in, the, in, in are. this tournament. They are. Also the 767. Speaking volume, boy. <laughs> <laughs> 767. 767. But anybody to anybody to look out for in one pot, um, modest? One pot? Mm -hmm. Or you the, just the only or you just have, cover or you just cover the pot and leave it. The, well, just cover the pot and leave it because those guys' bones are broken. I think Joba Pulu take more. That's why he retired early. Oh. Pulu take more. He, his bones getting soft now. You know, before you touch them, they cry in. So. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. They said that sometimes it's better to let in cricket. They say let the bat. Yeah. We are talking, or let the ball we are talking. But, you but see, in basketball, uh -huh. in, <laughs> in basketball, and when you're on the show, something you have to talk. So, you see, what, what will hurt you a lot? You said that these teams are the most prepared team. Mm -hmm. Will hurt so much if an unprepared team beat you. <laughs> you let him run his mouth. But I can I can be I can be devil's advocate and say, well, the team can have a bad night. That is actually okay. I rest my team. But before before I go on, um this is the first time that we ever had a local business supporting or sponsoring or basketball or basketball league. And I want to give props to Nantan Insurance Agency for stepping up and providing us with the assistance to have that league going forward. Because trust me, this is a, a, a time consuming, very expensive, because though we, for the past years, we have never offered a monetary award to the team. And I don't think that this year will change, but um, we are going to put our best foot forward to get the teams something that they will cherish for a lifetime. But once again, hats off to Nantan Insurance Agency Manager um, Emmanuel Nantan for coming on board. And for the first time I see we have a local, a personal businessman, a personal business run supporting and sponsoring our basketball. And that, to me, that tells me a lot because I feel that they're trying to give back to the community and I'm very happy to be part of this 
especially when you have a local businessman sponsoring you. I'm very happy about that. Positive. That is that is that is good stuff. That is good stuff. But Morris, they say um, Morris, he can run his mouth. <laughs> and, and played on a 50 by 100. And you what? have huh? what basketball is played on a 50 by 100 feet. The court. Oh, oh, I heard I heard 100. I thought you were going to say when he when he lose by 100, I was like, what? No, 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 I will do all that, but 50 by 50 feet. And that is where all the talking starts. Because I know original, we are experienced. And we can take a lot, but we won't be good on fighting. It's true they are young, we are old, but most times, sometimes experience steps in and they don't do what they have to do. That's true, you are the veterans. But remember that's, that, that's the spirit. That's, they use the veterans, you know. <laughs> but sometimes <laughs> the, the, the originals. Teacher, the, sometimes the teacher the students okay. become the teacher sometimes. Well, I, I feel original, but I don't decide that I want to spend a little more effort into the run of the league than maybe playing, so I just step aside. For, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Somebody somebody have to step up to do the uh, the admin part. Other than that, everybody, all of us cannot be players. I remember myself as an athlete. I have to step out of the competition and change change the game sometimes. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we have to have a decision that, you know, what we have to do it sometimes, you know? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, yeah, let's also add, let's also say something in, in, in um, regards to the, all the original that I have to say, trust me, it's a joy to look at the, the, the play, the, the, um, the, the old guys, look at them play, because they're playing some clinical basketball. Trust me. <laughs> Watching so, them play Ma and the, the, the ball is confidence and you know it's real clinical and it's a joy to watch and I really you know the youth and them can learn by watching these uh, watching these guys play. So I it's gonna be a great game. That game too, trust me, because they meet they met each other and it was not walk in the park. It was not easy. It went down to the wire, so it's not gonna be easy. Know, we, we will we will call they, we will call yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Hey, hey, you take you take on that Libla. You take on the two games. You know, the <laughs> full excuse is, but I I ain't gonna say much on that. My take my take on on actually I I missed that game. I missed that game. I only got the last um, five minutes of that game because I was at the volleyball um function where my team was was in the semifinals. Wait, um, your your team get some leaking, did it? Nah, man, we don't get leaking, okay. man. We, lo okay. we lost, we lost, but we didn't get leaks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I, as I was saying, I missed, I missed that game between um, the national under twenty one and the one Porto originals. But from all from all reports, it was a very very good game. Uh, and and I, and I hope, I hope, <laughs> I don't know, but I I hope I get to see them again in maybe the finals or or. Or, or thing. I, I I don't know. I mean, these are some. These are four top teams. Um, after tomorrow, tomorrow's first game, I will I will say I I, I will come up to a conclusion. But for now, mm. I cannot say who's going to go into the finals because these are these are four very good teams and everybody is brimming with confidence. Let me um, Frank Jerry, hold on, the mothers. Jerry, what's your take on the games? I, my take is a biased take. The only 21 is going all the way. It's 40 years and over. Mm. So we have guys almost 50 years plus playing. Mm. So that would be... Junior, for, junior that's, 40 years? That's no. a modest... That's a, that's a modest... Um, like excuse, I would say. <laughs> so, so you, so you're saying, so they're you're like, saying like you know, your, your, um, they're, they're, they're like less than half the age, average age of your team. But so, what they like to do, they like to do the rain dance. That's the what they like to do. So they know once the court is not is wet or slippery, they can uh, really get advantage. So the teams can't run on them. That's how they be the last team, you know. And, so, and remember. We have nothing to prove. We all, but 
they have the pressure on them to beat us. Not us beating them, you know. So all the pressure. Yeah. That, you know? that, is a true, that is a true statement. Yeah. But and you see, the, I, I formed that team a few, a, couple, a few years ago because, you know, I wanted, like, the older guys to come together and eventually, like, go out in the suburbs, you know, in the districts and play as a team. Mm -hmm. So I, I see that we're coming together, but, you know, but we, we, we all, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, man, we'll see. But you have well, to keep if, at it. This is, this is what I want to do now. If original win, I also get a, a win because I'm a part of original as well. <laughs> now, this is, this is what I'm going to do, right? And this question goes for everybody, right? Who is your team for, the, for game one? <laughs> Answer. <laughs> or, or original. Game one, game, game one. one. Game, game one. one. Yeah. Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> Honestly. Better. <laughs> Honestly, because <laughs> I, I don't care. But game two, I have a game two original. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Game one. Game, game, game one. Game. Okay, okay. Earl, Earl still I'm... undecided. Maggie, game one. Game one, easy. Easy like one, two, three, you 21. Okay, I'll take it back. Um, Eagles. 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 Super Eagles. Eagles. Modest, game one. I will tell you why I say um, U21. Don't say why. Don't say why. No, I will tell you why I say U21. Don't say why. Don't say, answer the question. Don't say why. We, hold on. Nico, because let me explain to you. <laughs> no, 20 no, seconds. Don't say, what, don't say the answer. Okay. okay. 20, okay. 20, 20 seconds. 20, 20 seconds. seconds. Oh, man. After the COVID came back on us, we stopped. And U21 didn't train, they didn't nothing. They just called a game on us. And we played excuse Super Eagles and we lost by what? Excuse, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Tomorrow so, is fire. Um, COVID, COVID was for you alone then? <laughs> What's going for you alone? But U21 team all the way tomorrow. Okay, so U21. <laughs> Libla, first game. Super Eagles. Jesus. What? Okay, so we, the, the beauty about it, right? It's five. Williams, the tiebreaker. Huh. <laughs> on the 21. <laughs> so, we have on, so we have on the 21 win in the first game, right? Okay, we're going to start with Williams now. Second game. I plead the fifth. I I I want to go. I want to be a tiebreaker again. No 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 no. <laughs> no, you can't be tiebreaker again. <laughs> no. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I'm a member of the original. Um, so I would say original. Thank you, Libla. I see. The, I see the second game as going to um seven six seven all stars. Ah. In that, in that in that game one, eh? in that game one. I think it's best of best of three, right? Yeah. yeah. Modest. All stars all the way. Maggie. Boy. Huh. It's gonna be a, it, you see, I watched the last game. They played and the experience really bothered the, the young guys and them in the 76 7. So it's a toss up there. Eh? It's a toss up and um boy. It's a tail, you gotta take one. Yeah, I, I yeah, <laughs> I go to your seven six seven all stars, but it do yeah, anything, uh, anything. Well, you don't have to, you, you don't have to break nothing, you know, just vote. <laughs> original, original. Original, so, original. So, we're looking for, we are anticipating uh, an under 21 and an all star final. No. Original Table Eagles final. I don't make too much sense. <laughs> okay, let me explain why. Let me explain why. The, the, the votes that we just casted give under 21 3 and Pebush 2 in game oh. one. So under 21 going to the finals. And also, also give All Stars 3 and Originals 2. So All Stars going into the finals according to the, to the, to the votes. You know? Mm -hmm. So we, we we having an under twenty one and all stars game. 
Huh. Neville, mm -hmm. Neville, but what you what you what you did not factor in that this semifinal is a best of three. Although mm -hmm. we have two games per night, game one, game two, but it's a best of three. So each of these teams may have to play each other at least three times. You know, case twice. No, yeah, I know, I know, but I know, I know, but what what would happen even if it has three games, the best of three, right? If under twenty one wins two wins, um, beats Pebush two one in the best of three, that would have given them their one. Well, well, they're, they're not going to beat them two one because would, because there's no way that under twenty one is going to beat Pebush twice straight up. Wow. Well, they can win wow. one and three. <laughs> yeah, they can win one and three, no? The national hey, under twenty one team over the over the last set of games I have seen they kind of prone to injury. Pebushin two. Hey, hey. Pebushin two. <laughs> but number yeah. one, Pebush, Pebush is the, the only team remaining that is part of Cosmo in the sense. So Pebush beating in two. So Pebush yeah, taking so down under twenty one. It will be 2 nil. Will they win tomorrow night and they win on Friday night? Okay, so we, need to, we, need, we, we need to do that show on Thursday night again. Bali, go go here. Wait, wow. Here we go. Hey, on Thursday. Interesting. Interesting. We need to do it either Thursday night or no, Saturday is my birthday. No, Thursday because I know some people will cry. Excuse, <laughs> excuse him. Excuse him. Right, I say no more. Excuse me. It, it would it would be it would be really interesting for us to meet after um <clears throat> again after or uh, before it's, before the second round of matches. After each game, yes. That, by, after, yes. Because... Okay. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we have we have some we have some people persons in higher places on on the on the on the on the roster. So of course they can make things. They can make things happen. We have Ericsson Libla, we have Maggie Dunstan, we have Earl Matthew. We're big, high profile slits, so things can happen. Yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> things, can, things can happen. But, For sure. guys, final words. All information, contact information, whatever that you all want to share for the, to the listening public, feel free to give them your go right now. Okay, I, I, I let me go. I just want, like, you know, the people in Antigua, trust me, you can tune in. They will link up on um, DA Sports Vibes and um, also um, my page, Johnston Maggie Peters. We will be going live with this, with the both games. We'll be live. So link up DA Sports Vibes Facebook page. And you trust me, you're going to enjoy. It's going to be exciting. You don't want to miss it. So for the, for the Wadadley, Massive and them, Kebran, the rest of them, on the, in the um, AB, ABBA. Yeah, man. Tune in. It's going to be hot, dung, and pussy. I want to see who's going to pick to say their, their part last. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You go okay. next. Well, once again, um, we'd like to thank and um, we have some people that are very um instrumental in um getting the league on the way. We have like um Nathan Insurance Agency, our gold sponsor. We have the sports division on the Trevor Shilling Ford. We have Charlton Welding, we have um DABA. And like we come together like a unit, you know, to like to, to, to bring up bring out the, the best possible product that we can bring. And um, if you if you tune to the game tomorrow night and you feel like you know contribution, I'll, de huh? I'll definitely I'll definitely tune in. Yeah, man, yeah, and like I want at this we're gonna see like a a, 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 a semi-final with a difference, man. Because I think that we we have some guys send send um, personal messages to players. <laughs> so it's, it's like the, the players actually hide themselves up. 
I hide themselves for a fall, but I, I don't know. I don't know. So right now, like I'm a, a student of the game, you know, just a, a spectator watching the final play, the players, and you're just having fun. And like that's what's supposed to be here. Yeah. Teams come together, have fun, play what's happening on the court, stays on the court, and let us, you know, sports should... sport and enjoy enjoy life, you know, enjoy basketball, you know. And that is sports what should we, always win. Yeah, man, that, that's that's what we all about here, you know. It's like sports is number one priority now. We play, we have fun after, and let's just build from there. Because if, if from what I see, if we take how we basketball life out there, I think things will be better. You know, it's like I have friends around the whole world because I played all over, and like it's like a, 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 a you have a, 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 a community, you know, like where you have friends. And another thing is that too, we have diaspora <clears throat> in the community. And they too help sponsor the league too, and that's very very instrumental too. You know, but we look forward to a, a beautiful semi-finals and eventually finals, and everybody come out and watch the game and zoom in or you know, and like I think it'll be good, great. Man. All yes. right. <laughs> All right. Um, just a few words. Just want to say that I mean, on behalf of the ABA, I know we have as an executive we have. Um, put plans in place in regards to, um, apart from just running leagues, we also emphasize on community leagues itself. And then this is just playing out to exactly what um, we want to see happen in community leagues, the support, especially we may not contribute in certain ways, but we demand for the, the personnel in regards to refereeing, um, guys taking time out to coach the president, um, all the members of the executive assistant, and also, you know, because of, of the way Earl managed the, the officials, he has no, you know, even accepted the role of, of managing the officials for the mm-hmm. National League. So out of that community league comes that, you know, so there, there is um, benefit out of it. And I think the partnership, I mean, we are going back and forth, we are, you know, out of fun, but the partnership in regards to persons working together as as you know benefited basketball a lot. Good stuff. Limla, everything on mute your mic. Well, I was hoping that you would take me last <laughs> as the public relations and media person. So I'll give the final stuff. Modest. So let Modest go here. Modest. I'll go last. <laughs> okay, Morris wants to go last. No, 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 I'll go now. I mean, I'll go now. Sorry. Okay. You know. um, let me just say, once again, it's a, a privilege. And it was a nice opportunity to, to be here. Um, and a special thank you to Mr. Matthew and Mr. Libla for putting this, um, or should I say, I'm um, linked together. And the ABA strongly supports it. Um, with officials, um, referees, everything you want to see. Um, and it's also a great opportunity for the U21 team to be a part of something great for their first team, being a first time as a team together taking part in a league. Um, so I'd just like to say a special thank you to everyone. And I know some people have been, persons are watching. I would also like to say, take a special thank you to the Dominica Olympic Committee because without them, our national U21 team would have not been able to take part in this fourth world league and also getting to all the training that they have been doing. So I cannot thank them enough. I've been thanking them over and over and over again. I just one more time, a special thank you to DOC. And yes, work together and keep up the good work, you know. Thank you, everyone. Positive vibe. All right. So, um... Neville, uh, it's imperative that I, that, I, that I make this next statement. A lot of times people sit on the outside and they don't know what's going on within organizations. I mean, I may, I may have been in the past a person like that, um, but as I said, I, I, I sit on high levels in certain associations and sitting on the outside and, and, and seeing basketball games running and not knowing the amount of stuff that goes behind the scenes 
it's 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 really people need, I think people need to come on board and it's it's amazing to see people like Jerry Dunstan Earl Modest myself and there's a few others who's come who can come together I mean we've had our talk we've had our fights we've had our stuff but at the end of the day we do it because I think we all love the sport I love I love I love sports administration for a fact um, so I want to say thank you all to, the, to, to all of these people, Earl Matthew especially, for bringing me back into basketball. Because I've left basketball for a very, very long time and I couldn't care about it. But now I have to, because I have seen, I have seen where basketball can bring people. Um, and I want to say thanks to you for even giving us that opportunity. I mean, I've been lo I'm looking at the live also on my computer and I'm, I'm not too sure why we don't have a lot more viewers. I think it's because maybe we did not advertise it. But I think it was important, some of the things that was said here, and it, it can only help to grow the sport, the sport of basketball in our, in my area in Portsmouth and in Dominica general and maybe in the wider Caribbean. So thanks all, thank you all for being part of that process. I also want to tell the people that have been supporting us in terms of the fans, um, a big thank you. Because without the fans, we have, we really have, have nothing. We've seen cricket play in the last few months with empty stadiums, and it's a different feeling for players when there's nobody watching you or cheering you on. Um, so it's a big thank you to all the fans, those of those who have continued to heed the call to 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 sanitize, to wear their mask, and to social distance. Um, we've had person misbehave on the games, and other people pull them up and say, "Yo, you got to stop that." Uh, we have people who, who criticize players and criticize officials. And after two, three games, because one person spoke to them, they stopped. These people are advocates for the game and for making the game better. Um, this, this, this coming weekend is from tomorrow. I expect to see a very, very high level of basketball. I expect to see some serious game played. Um, and I, I just want to admonish everybody who's going to come to wear their mask, sanitize uh if you come in with a family sit together with a family and just come it's a very it's a good atmosphere as long as the weather is perfect it will be a perfect atmosphere for you to come with your family and enjoy good basketball and to continue supporting the younger basketballers and also the older basketballers who impact their knowledge on the younger basketballers and to support people like Earl Matthew and, and Dunstan and Modest and Ericsson in trying to revitalize a sport that a lot of people think is dying. You know what I mean? So that is what I want to say. Um, I hope we get to have this opportunity again. Um, as we said, we may do it again on Thursday after the first set of games. Um, I hope we get to do it again. And um, let's, let's have the sports going somewhere. Let's have sports going somewhere. Definitely, we, de we definitely. Yes, Earl. One more thing. Uh, we, we could have the most money to run a league, the most fans, but one thing, the officials. Players. And all oh, the officials. That the official. Yep. They come in, I got, um, I mean, they travel miles and miles to come to help us. And I would just like to thank them for the dedication, day in, day out, no matter, someone can get so much abuse from the player, but still, <laughs> yeah, hey. I mean, uh, in the I'm, I wonder if I have seen any, any sport in discipline where the, where the um, um, well, domestic, uh -huh. during any domestic competition that the official don't get abused. But trust me, the official, they, they, they're strong, they're strong, they're strong. And I just want to commend them in for, and you know, like taking, helping us because without them, you know, the Dalek would not be anywhere, you know? And I just forgot mm -hmm. to mention that, but I think that my hats off to them, I, I maintain, I will go to the limits for them because I know that they are doing a, a tough job. Thank and you. Much, imagine, I, we gave a, a guy to referee a game. He always in referee trouble. I instead of blowing a fall, he said fall, you know. <laughs> so that stress level is very high. And I just want to commend them for you know, <laughs> and then 
Yeah, man. I think they're doing a good job, man. Yes. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, my intern, man. My boy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, guys. I must say, it's been a privilege for me to have uh, an experienced panelist. I, as you can see, I'm wearing championship shirt too, you know. You know? No, I was never, 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 never a fan of basketball. Never. Um, by coming around sports, being organizing sports and that kind of stuff, I came around. Similarly, like football. I don't, I don't play football, neither basketball. I don't like the kind of contact. <laughs> you understand? The kind of contact, I don't like it. So I, nev I never played them. But I came about that learning the rules, and being able to converse basketball or football or any other discipline bec to become a norm for me and to talk to other people in, in that regard. So now I'm wearing a, 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 champ a championship jersey, you know, that, that kind of thing. So, and it's really nice having you guys here tonight. And I must say thank you to Maggie for making that possible getting you guys on board and you guys are yeah. awesome and we're definitely looking forward to having, having you all again of, of what 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 team Toronto Raptors Toronto Raptors Oh, oh. <laughs> I, uh, thank you for Maggie for making that. I would think they already put dishes already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, all right, all right. So um, I'm just hoping that when we do meet again, the other guys are here and we can have a ball of a time. Tears, guys, no, we won't. There'll be tears. <laughs> no, we'll we bring a championship shirt for you, Neville. I will, hey. I will send you a championship shirt. No problem. No problem. Yeah, man. Guys, you 21 the championship for C Nantan Inter and Sporty Champion. I will say I have that for to you. say again, guys, thank you very much for making it here on the show tonight. Thank you for our viewers, for our listeners. I know persons will follow it even after we have gone off. I just want to encourage you all follow more sports and events on Tiger on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Follow more sports and Tigger for live for more updates and live updates of the Nantan Insurance Posse Basketball League that's currently ongoing. You all will be getting updates through more sports and events right here with us. Definitely look out for us. We're gonna come back later this week. More entertaining news. See who's crying, see who's laughing, and how long that is gonna last. Guys, Yay! thank you very much for coming tonight. We're going to link up again. Sports scene all the time. Come on. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. All the best. One love. Till we meet Thursday again. <laughs> <laughs>